all right welcome back to the channel i know it's been a little minute since my last upload uh but i just want to let you guys know i'm gonna be posting i'm gonna try, i'm gonna try to be very consistent now because i am taking this channel into a different direction uh welcome to my little series or uh, playlist i'm gonna call this series uh motion flow uh, i'm gonna try to take the channel towards a more trading and uh financial side of things so for the very first thing uh, we're gonna do is basically we're going to set up webull or paper trading if you guys don't know what webull is so yeah webull has one of if not the best paper trading user interactions that i know of so with uh, with webull as you can see this is what it looks like right here um this setup i made specifically just a day trade um the spider you know spx and spy and zero dte options but you can really just trade whatever type of options you want with this setup i geared this towards paper trading spider we have our main chart the options chart right here this thing right here is actually the options contract chart which a lot of brokers don't have that available you can actually take a look at the contract chart which can help you make even better decisions on your trades all right so first things first you have your first chart you have your contract chart you have the turbo trader which is how you buy and sell your contracts you have your options chain over here you have your positions and orders that i have right here and then this is just your paper account detail order book whatever you want i know the order book um you have to pay for this it's level two you gotta pay for level two i pay like three bucks a month it's worth it um but you can put whatever you want here i like to look at my paper account details just to see how i'm doing and yeah this is um i'm at 1400 right now i'm doing a 1000 to 10,000 challenge um, i'm like maybe a weekend um, I've been making some, losing some, but I'm still green overall, so it's not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and start making our layout. So you're going to come up here. You're going to click on new layout, and we're going to do blank layout, okay? And of course, you want to make sure you're in the paper trading tab. I forgot to mention that. You want to make sure you're in the paper trading tab, and then you want to click on new layout and blank layout. So first things first, we're going to add the first chart and yeah so we want to make the first chart about like this size and i'll i'll also show you guys the indicators that i have i can do like a more in-depth video about the indicators and how i use them to get my confirmations but for now we're just gonna go over the very basics on how to set up your weeble just the paper trade so you have your options chart and your contract chart but for now we're just gonna set up your weeble so you just have the essential items that you need to trade so we have our first chart down we're gonna go ahead and add another chart and this is gonna be the contract chart right here so after we add the second chart we're gonna go ahead and click on options right here this is gonna bring up the options chain and we can just set this right here and then next we're gonna click on paper we are going to need our orders we're gonna set that right next to here and then we're also gonna do our positions click on positions and when you click on positions you want to drag the tab onto the orders right here so it's sort of they combine into um, a group tab okay so that's gonna be orders and then after orders we're gonna add the turbo trader I like using the turbo trader but honestly um, you could do a classic trade once you guys start using Webull and you learn the ins and out you can customize this but this is just for a basic beginner Use this chart over here and then the last thing we need is our paper account details oh I, this is the wrong thing sorry remove this and here we are paper account details okay so we have all right and essentially your setup is pretty much complete on how it looks now there are a few more things we're gonna do um, the main thing we have to do is set groups. So you want to make it so whenever you click on a contract, it's going to show the contract chart right here. And you do that by setting groups, right? So we're going to set this as group two. We're also going to set this as group two. For some reason, the paper trading is missing a lot of um, substance that the actual um, Turbo Trader has. 
So for some reason, the paper trading on Weeble is different from the actual trading and it's missing a few like things that I would like to have on paper trading, but this is enough, okay? So yeah, you can just set these two in the same group and then you wanna set this as group two as well. And you are essentially done. Now we're gonna go into some of the settings for these that you wanna have, right? So section one, this is gonna be your main chart. Um, the main chart to add indicators, you click up here, you can add whatever indicators you want, your moving average indicator settings. If you want, if you want um, to make it a line chart, you right click, line style, line, or you can just right click line style, handle, okay? All right, so the main thing I wanna go over with you guys is the Turbo Trader settings. Okay, so right now we just have buy bid, buy ask, sell bid, sell ask, right? So when you click on Turbo Trader settings, you wanna make sure you're not on um, place order stocks. I'll go that off. You wanna to go to place orders options right here, right? So you, you, of course you're gonna have your buy bid, you're gonna have your buy ask, you're gonna have your sell bid, and you're gonna have your sell ask. And you can also have a few more if you want. These four are basically what you're gonna to wanna to have on the place orders options. And then you're gonna to go to quantity. You wanna make sure you do have your quantity settings toggled on. And then orders and positions, you can have your position, you can have your close. Um, this is basically this close button will close all your positions that you have. If you want, you can have that on, but you wanna be comfortable with your layout, right? You don't wanna copy mine exactly as it is. Um, be comfortable with it. This is gonna be what you're gonna be trading with. So personalize it you know if there's something you like change it okay all right you want to make sure you have your quantity settings toggled on this is how you change the amount of contracts you want to buy if you want to buy one contract you increase it two contracts you increase it or if you want to buy 20 you can type that 20 in okay and you can also do percentage which let's not do that right um so just keep it on quantity settings make sure it's toggled on and you can put the amount of contracts you wanna buy in here, okay? Now that we're done with the Turbo Trader, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our option chain. Uh, there's a few things I'd like you guys to change on here. And I don't know how important you guys want your Greeks to be, but honestly, the only Greek I take a look at is uh, beta. But here's what I like to have, right? So on your options chain, you have the bid, the ask, we can't toggle these off, which is good. You have your volume, your open interest and for your Greeks you have your Delta and your data and that is gonna be about it now how I like to set up my columns I like to have my volume next to my open interest that can give me a quick analysis on what type of volume the contract is having how much people so open interest tells you how much people have open positions that haven't been closed yet and of course volume is just volume right so another important thing i want to bring up for the options is how to bring up the options the underlying contract right so if you look here you click on this that's going to give you a sell you click on this it's going to give you a buy you have to make sure when you're hovering over the contract that you're looking at you click on something that's not highlighted red or green so like you can highlight on open interest volume do not click directly on the bid in the ask columns that will open an order entry and that's not going to bring your contract price so if you want to see your contract price you click on any of these where it's highlighted blue and your contract is going to show up right here in the contract price and another thing is you might not have live quotes on your weeble um to have live quotes you can either subscribe to it or i think if you deposit uh, money into your account and you make one trade they'll give it to you for free so drop 20 bucks 50 bucks in there make a little trade and you'll get free live quotes okay and of course, I subscribe to level two. Once again, it's three bucks a month. Um, it's definitely worth it. And let's see, what else do we have to go over? And that's going to be pretty much it, honestly. And I'll show you guys um, some clips on how we can place orders and how it is in, in action. OK. OK, and this video right here is from one of my trading days. I don't remember which, but I'm having a lot of indicators telling me that um, it wants to go up. So I click on paper trade. I have my setup up. I'm looking for a contract. I find one. And here we are. So this SPX 5835 call. 
and I click buy five ask you see it says that right there and boom it triggered that little it turned blue that means we're in click on positions and here we are now right click on that little blue close in order entry this is how you can set a limit price basically kind of like your take profit uh, but this is just your limit sell this is how you can do a, uh, an easy limit sell from the contract chart itself so you see i set it to 160 and i set that in place and yeah basically that's pretty much it you set that 160 it's gonna do its thing and then when it triggers it automatically sells for you now of course one of the things i was mentioning um paper trading doesn't have a stop loss so you cannot set a stop loss in this paper trading or the turbo trader um, especially when you're trading options but you can in the real turbo trader which is weird right but they don't have that available in the paper trading options so that's one of the downsides but you have so much other tools available and it's just amazing Rebull is really nice for you to learn and practice practice your strategies what works right all right and fast forward to a few minutes later we have a huge candle that closed below my trend line i'm like okay i gotta cancel my limit and i gotta get out i'm gonna close my position at a loss of 150. so i'm like damn that's tragic right so this is another way you can um exit your position okay so yeah i was really using the ttm squeeze as my indicator like the momentum indicator as a rebound and it didn't want to happen right you see it closed below my trend line that I had drawn and that the next green candle it wicked. It had a top, a long top wick. So that seems to me that sellers are in control. Buyers cannot take control. So I need to close my position. So I click on close, right? After I canceled my take profit and I was just like, you know what? Just get me out at 90. I'll take whatever I can get, please. And it took me out. And that is another way you can exit your positions. All right, and that's gonna be it for the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Um, that's pretty much it. Leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I'm out.